Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me for day 29 of the Holy Heroes devotional. Today's devotion is inspired by Daredevil. Blinded by a radioactive substance that splashed into his eyes as a child, Matt Murdock's other senses compensated for his lack of sight. Having honed these senses to a superhuman level, Matt can taste the additives in a can of diet soda. He can track the scent of a particular perfume from two blocks away. He can read a, a newspaper by gently gliding his fingertips over the print. And he can use echolocation to navigate the dark and often dangerous streets of Hell's Kitchen. By... Uh, Smelling an increase in someone's perspiration or listening to their heartbeat, Matt can always tell when someone is lying. A useful trick for an attorney. Of course, Matt Murdock is only an attorney by day. By night, Matt becomes the vigilante known as Daredevil, the man without fear. As Daredevil, Matt fights crime on the streets of Hell's Kitchen, one of New York's most notorious neighborhoods. And surprisingly, he also attends church there. Daredevil is a committed Catholic. In the first two seasons of his Netflix original series, Matt frequently visits his priest, Father Lantham, to confess his sins and to seek saintly advice. Matt believes that God has guided his decisions as Daredevil, and he believes that God has called him to become a vigilante. In a conversation with Father Lantham, he says, why do I feel it in my heart and soul if it's not all part of God's plan? But after a devastating loss, Matt experiences a crisis of faith. Season 3 begins with Matt barely surviving a building collapse that claims the life of his one-time lover, Electra. Electra's death, coupled with his own crippling injuries, cause Matt to question his faith in God. In fact, he becomes angry with God, very angry. In a conversation with Sister Mary Grace, one of the nuns at St. Agnes Orphanage, Matt compares himself to Job, saying, You see, that was me, sister. I suffered willingly. I gave my sweat and blood and skin without complaint because I too believed I was God's soldier. Well, not anymore. I'm not Job. When Sister Maggie tries to reassure Matt that God has a plan for his life, Matt responds, that's the difference between us. I no longer care what God wants. As the season progresses, however, a series of unlikely events point to a divine plan and help restore Matt's faith. In the end, Matt reflects on his childhood and confesses to Sister Maggie, I was pretty angry at God and bitter towards the world. How could a loving God blind me? Why? Father Lantham told me, God's plan is like a beautiful tapestry. And the tragedy of being human is that we only get to see it from the back, with all the ragged threads and the muddy colors. We only get a hint at the true beauty that would be revealed if we could see the pattern on the other side as God does. He continues, I realize that if my life had turned out any differently, I would never have become daredevil. So maybe it is all part of God's plan. Maybe my life has been exactly as it had to be. You know, superheroes aren't the only ones to experience a crisis of faith. When calamity or catastrophe strikes, we wonder how a loving God could allow it to happen. Tragedy shakes our faith. You know, we look at the world around us with all its ragged threads and muddy colors and wonder how any of this could be part of a heavenly plan. But there is a promise, a single promise in God's word that can meet every disaster or disappointment head on. It's an ironclad, unfailing, all-encompassing, God-given guarantee that every single circumstance or situation in life will sooner or later turn out according to God's plan. Buried in the Old Testament book of Jeremiah, the Bible says this, 
For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. It can be difficult to recognize God's plan at times. But as Daredevil learned, that's because we're looking at the tapestry from the wrong side. Someday we may get to see the pattern on the other side as God sees it. But until that day, we can choose to trust in God's promises and plans. Let's pray together. Father, life can be so challenging at times. Struggles and suffering sometimes seem pointless. Help me to know that you have a plan for my life, even when I can't see it. Help me to remember that you are using the events of my life to weave a beautiful tapestry. Thank you for your promises and plans. Amen. I want to thank you once again for joining me for today's devotional. And we only have one more left in the series. You don't want to miss it. So be back here tomorrow for day 30 of the Holy Heroes devotional. In the meantime, God bless and be a hero.